Hey folks, this is Mark. I'm in my car. The heater's on. The airplane is propped up so it gets hit by the heater. Uh, this is video three about my uh, brain fart float flight and uh, crash landing. Uh, the uh, I didn't have any power after I hit the water. And when I get the plane back, well, the first video shows the flight. Everything's fine. And then I do a crash landing. And then the plane's drifting out to the middle of the lake. And I may never get it back again. That's video one. Video two is the rescue operation that came together, and I got my plane back, uh, but I didn't have any power uh, after she crashed. She was still floating on her uh, floats on the lake, but I didn't have any power, no power whatsoever. Uh, when I got the plane back, the battery was still in it and still connected. When I started to pull the battery off to disconnect it, I moved it just a little bit, you know, as I was uh, starting to disconnect it, and that powered the plane up. Okay, now since that happened, that gave me the impression that uh, we're good to go, but the uh, stuff's wet. Probably the ESC is wet. So I thought I'd let the ESC dry out. And what I did, now this happened to me once before with my Mall M7 a couple few years ago. Floats crash, got real wet inside the plane. Uh, no matter what I did, uh, I could not get the plane to power up. And what I finally did, because I had run out of ideas, is I had uh, removed... There we go, folks. What I had done uh, on the mall to solve the problem is I removed the shrink wrapping that's on the ESC. See, let me oh, let me turn the light on here. Uh, yep. So what I did before to solve the problem on my mall was I removed this shrink wrapping that the ESC. Can we get a focus on the shrink wrapping? Yes. I remove I removed this shrink wrapping uh, that goes around the ESC uh, theoretically to keep it. Uh, protect it from water. The trouble is it only protects it from water to a certain extent and then it keeps water trapped in there. Uh, now I also pulled off this also was wrapping part of the circuit board. So I pulled off the outer shrink wrapping that covered the whole circuit board of the ESC in this plane. Then I pulled off this additional inner wrapping that covered some of the circuits on the circuit board. And then I put it in the car as she's sitting now. You can see the heater vents right up there. Now I got those two heater vents pointed right up here at the ESC. All right, right now, as we, as we, uh, as I'm making this video, my theory being, if it's the wet ESC, if the uh, problem with my not being able to power up, if it's a, a wet ESC as it was on my mall, then I've got it unwrapped and I'm exposing it to, to warm but not hot air and a lot of it fast coming from a fan. And my theory was get this thing dried out fully and maybe we'll be back in business well we are back in business she's powering up again now she's powering up once again sweet 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 so she lives again there's the circuit board see I unwrapped it first I had to pull it out as you can see but I didn't disconnect it I pulled it out from way up in the nose there I uh, very very carefully pulled it out very very carefully unwrapped the shrink wrapping. Focus, please. Yeah, I very carefully uh, unshrink wrapped it and uh, took off the yellow. As you see now, the yellow that's remaining on there right now, I left that because that's kind of really integrated into things. So I thought if I pull that up, I mean, it's really it's really fastened down really, really good. And I thought, well, I'll leave those because I don't want to mess, mess anything up. And by gosh, just now when I connected the battery, she works. I'm so thrilled. All right, folks, that's it. That's episode three, the final episode of... My crash on the lake, uh, everything was fine with the bird, no damage, except I was getting no, uh, no, no power. Couldn't power the bird up, and it turned out to be the ESC was wet, and no matter how much a fan I put on it and how much heat, please focus, what in the hell? No matter how much heat, uh, you know, and, and air I put on the, the ESC, it, you know, I still couldn't uh, power up the plane. But only, what, 15 minutes after I pulled off the shrink wrapping and the inner wrapping from the ESC, about 15 minutes after that, with the heater blowing on her, now she works. Super duper! All right, see you next time. Bye.